I would do the review for uh, the dark for the unit thing. I I watched it. I know, but I, I completely forgot it. <laughs> now just How remember, did you get it? the entire episode revolved around Sam. <laughs> now just remember, do not yeah. look away from your monitor. Soldier. Like, like <laughs> what? Oh, what a bugger. <laughs> Oh, so, yes. you know, at this point, at this point, I kind of feel sorry for Josh. Yeah, I know that poor guy never gets a break. <laughs> he keeps on getting used. It's like I know. he keeps getting mind controlled. I know. <laughs> that poor guy. Right. <laughs> Although I wonder what cool superpowers he's gonna get from this. <laughs> um, amnesia. That's a pretty cool superpower. There are some things I would like to freaking hit. Yeah, but that's I the whole mean, point of that eternal sunshine of the spotless mind idea. So you get to you get to forget everything. But yeah. they, already, they already have their special uh, retcon thing for that. But. Yeah. Although they don't actually call it retcon, they only call it retcon in Torchwood. But yeah, also spicy vegetarian pizza is apparently the thing. Okay. I don't really know how to feel about that. Yeah. I mean, I like. Pizza, but veget. Well, okay. To be fair, you can technically call a cheese pizza vegetarian. So, okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah. there's a difference I between vegetarian and vegan. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, spicy vegetarian pizza would be okay, but no mushrooms. Yeah, just uh, just make it with like pepper jack cheese. Yeah, and jalapenos, yeah. onions. Yeah, I, I would definitely eat that. It's still, it's still real cheese and all that stuff. So yeah, that that sounds good. Yeah, that that's good. So, but but yeah, the entire episode is like Sam. That <laughs> makes me happy. <laughs> I mean, we get the. There's not a lot. To, it outside of there's like one thing that happens that's basically we're starting to figure out they're starting to figure out how to keep remembering the silence how to keep remembering the silence and the subliminal political campaign and also the silence telling people hey um don't shoot us on sight <laughs> I do like that Abbott and Costello act they had there with the ugly blader, isn't he? <laughs> Don't go for your monitor. Wait, what? Oh. Don't oh. Go for the screen. No. Oh, this is going to be a long night. <laughs> and she's like, okay, well, I got to go tell some people. Wait, what was I doing? <laughs> Don't go look. Oh, what is that? Ugly blighter, isn't he? <laughs> Which, you know, okay, so the uh, the whole forgetting them thing kind of confuses me. Like, I would totally get it. Like, you know, being there in person and then looking away, maybe some, like, psychic fee that comes off of them to make you uh, forget about them. But how exactly do you forget about them when you were just looking at a picture? I don't know. I mean, they might have explained it, but I think I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> or, okay, maybe... Maybe if you like see them for real at first, right? That like psychic feed will always be with you. So any other time you see them, oh. even if it's picture or video, no. it'll just be like no, because oh. it works on anybody who's ever 
Oh, yeah. Which sees them, despite whatever they... Because, because when um, Kate first saw it, she was she first saw pictures of them. Yeah. Well, she had... as far as she knows, I don't know. Fair enough. I mean, she might have met them and forgotten that she met them. Well, because, yeah, I mean, they've been all over the TV. Yeah, but... <laughs> I mean, and maybe the like voice has something to do with it too. It, I mean, their voice is forgotten easily too, as we saw in the first episode. Yeah, uh, it's all it's all confusing, all silency, which I swear look like an angrier version of the Ood. They they look like uh, I I had somebody comment that. Their faces look, their mouths look like buttholes. <laughs> oh, God. Now they do. Thank, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was somebody on one of my uh, role play buddies. Is like, every time I see the silence, their face looks like a butthole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you defeat the silence buy a bunch of dildos and stick them in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear god hey so does this take place before or after the whole doctor who episode of the silence of the president and all that stuff after okay because first of all that episode took place in the 60s uh, oh yeah sorry time travel gets kind of confusing and also they the whole kill them on sight came oh, from yeah. that would explain it and so that's why they're trying to say don't kill us on sight because people are killing them on sight because of the whole moon landing thing yeah but all the people you know killing them on site are probably a bunch of old geezers right now no i mean anybody who's seen the moon landing i haven't i know there's youtube videos of it but i haven't well then you wouldn't kill them on site but there are plenty of people who've seen the moon landing, <laughs> even though it's not you know yeah, yeah. Well, if unit wants to get rid of the silence really quickly, the best thing to do is just buy up ad space and have them just watch the play the uh, moon landing and just play that, make sure everybody sees the moon landing tape again. <laughs> and then, boom, that's the end of the silence. <laughs> it's like if they see them, they will kill them. <laughs> You know, I kind of forgot what the Silence's plan was in the Doctor Who episode. I think it was just to kill everybody. So, okay, like, so big alien invasion. I don't think it was an alien invasion. I think it was just that they feed off of people. Ah. Uh, I think. I don't remember, honestly. I haven't seen that episode in a while. You mean, I gotta watch it again. I know. I keep meaning to, but I always forget to. <laughs> okay, here's the here's the uh, synopsis. The, the synopsis basically: uh, members of the Church of Silence, formerly the papal mainframe, the confessional priests, also known as Silence, were genetically engineered by the Church to allow people to confess their sins without remembering doing so. Accomplishing accomplished by fashioning the priests so anyone looking at them would forget their encounter when they looked away. A renegade sect of priests became obsessed with preventing the siege of Trenzalore and traveled back in time, influencing human history over a long period of time and attempting to create a fixed death for the Doctor at Lake Silencio. They became known to the Doctor as Silence. Ah. Oh. Okay. So, in other words, they're uh, alien Mormons. Pretty much. Cool. But yeah, this was 
this was more of a setup episode than uh, anything really and it was sort of okay here's the rising action here's what's sort of okay we're gonna set up this is starting to go on and you know oh they're they're now you know trying to make it to where nobody remembers them or nobody will remember to shoot them but it would be it would be interesting to see just like yeah uh if if they were in bad enough luck that like the anniversary of the moon landings happened right around this time and everybody was watching the, the moon landings again and everybody <laughs> gets reindoctrinated to kill them on site and it's like oh <laughs> stabby stabby <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. <sighs> Somebody's sleepy. Hmm, not that much. Uh, anyway, uh, anything else to say about square one? The first time I had heard it, I actually did have lasagna for dinner. <laughs> mm, <lasagna. laughs> and it had nothing to do with Josh. I just happened to have lasagna for dinner that day. Mm. Well, here's one thing I know. You know, aliens are definitely evil once they start getting involved in politics. Right? Although this really does remind me of the way the Trump campaign went mm -hmm. as far as like stirring stuff up and the way they wrote LeBlanc really makes me think of like the way Trump was during the campaigning. Or at least what the, you know, the left-wing comedians yep. want you to think of him as. Yeah, the way it was all... The this, is, way... this is the way SNL wanted to portray Donald Trump. This is basically the way... what they yeah. you know, The way they portrayed LeBlanc was the way SNL tried to portray Donald Trump. Well, not just Saturday Night Live. Just well, like I mean, that, that, that is an example of that yeah. branch of comedy. That yeah. sort of, you know, the Daily Show, that sort of thing. This is what they wanted to portray Trump as. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I don't have much else to say about it. We don't really, not a lot, you know, we, we get the whole political thing starting to happen. There's really not a lot to this episode except for because it's all because because they have to constantly show hey they're starting and restarting all the time with this having to rebuild their knowledge base from scratch all this time and getting more people in on the program so they can remember what they were saying so it's just like yeah there's no but but it does make the it it is happy because it's a lot more sam than we get in most episodes but yeah anyway uh, I think that's about all I have to say about it uh, let me think let me think um, no I got anything else I made my comment about poor Josh already <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't. I don't have one thing. It's not really about unit. It's it's about the uh, picture being used on the stream. Yeah. Is that a roof behind that open door? Hmm. Oh. Uh, it's like a white looking hoof behind I think that's the just, door. I think it's just a light. Oh. Uh, okay. It just looked like a hoof opening up the door. Look at my thing. No, that's just a lamp. Just a lamp uh, in the next room. <laughs> oh. though, though I have thought of it, like I was originally when I made this um, screen grab, I was going to make, uh, 
I was going to have the doctor poking his head in through that door, but sort of puppeteering him over there really didn't work. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it was a lot like it would, it, there was no good place to put him, and this was such a better better place of putting him that it was just like, yeah, let's just let's do that. He's sort of just he's happy. He's there, and he's sort of hi. <laughs> She had like a little bubble next to him that says, I'm technically not in any of these. Yeah. <laughs> well, his ship is Osgood's ringtone. Yeah. True. Yeah. And her text message is the cloister bell. True. But. Uh, uh. Which I took that idea and. It is now my ringtone, even though my phone is forever muted, because I always have it on silent mode. <laughs> do you forget where so, it is sometimes? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> my ringtone is a uh, sound at a high frequency that most other people can't hear it except me. Hmm. I forget what my. Mine is I oh uh it's uh it's pretty it's a it's an ACDC song, I remember that much. Well, I don't get I don't get a lot of calls, so uh well, um then we have like time for like one page of Doctor yeah, Who. Yeah, I got shoot to thrill. <laughs> 